Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept in the HTML that is web forms. So, what is this web forms and why we need to use these web forms? Already we know that if you want to send a data to the server, or otherwise, if you want to uh, if the user wants to input any data into the web page, the web forms is the only uh, so suitable thing which can which can the website receives the input message what the user wants to send it so because of those reasons web forms we will be using so web forms are intended in order to receive the data from the user through the web page that is the meaning of this web forms so how can this html page or web page receives the data or how can the user sends the data to the web page means let's try to see what is the process web forms are one of the main points of interaction between a user and a website or an application this is the thing what we have discussed these uh, web forms are the only way which can user and the website interact to each other forms allow user to enter data which is generally sent to a web server for processing and storage or used on the client side to immediately update the interface in some way so this is the important thing you need to understand that forms allows users to enter data so form form only the forms is the only way how the users can enter the data so normally by taking that data what the web page will try to do is it will normally it will send it to the web server something like backend technology so for processing and storing whatever the thing we want to do it we can do it using the web server or otherwise it will take by the client side storage something like javascript and using the javascript it will immediately update the web page wherever it want to highlight it so these are the two ways the web forms can be handled a web forms html is made up of one or more form controls sometimes called as widgets now what is this web form so now web form in the html it consists in this web form it will consist of one or more form controls we will discuss about these form controls you need to understand the terminology of these things so web form contains one or more form controls plus some additional elements to help structure the overall form it will have some form controls or some additional elements additional elements means paragraph element uh, ul element li element so these are all the elements we need it in order to construct in order to structure this overall form so they are often referred as, as html forms so we combining all those things we call it as an html form this is the thing the controls can be single or multi-line text fields now we understood about the form controls right the terminology now what is this controls so these controls can take single or multi-line so it can take the single or multi-line text fields drop down bus boxes buttons check boxes radio buttons so these are all are different ways of uh, taking the input from the user so we have different ways so we'll try to see these all are called as an controls form controls and are mostly created using the input element so these these some of the elements most of the elements are created using this input element only so this is the new element so the form for creating the form controls we use this input element so some are, some don't use the input elements but most of them are used to create the input element only although there are some other elements to learn about too so there are also some other elements also there but most of the elements has this input element okay form controls can also be programmed to enforce a specific formats or values now we understood that web form has some form controls nothing but some elements form input elements you will be having and along with that some other elements also you will be having something like ulip elements these all things also it will have now so now the user enters the data so now user enters the data we can also make the user to enter specific format or otherwise specific data only so we can also enforce we can also restrict the user to give specific type of data only or values to be entered so these type of restricting the user or something like this we call it as a form validation and paid with text labels that describe their purpose to both cited and visually invis so this is the thing now here the syntax for this form is all forms start with a form element like this now here all the forms so wherever any any form if you want to see means it will start like this form action you will be having an url and the method so these are the two attributes that are mostly used in the form 
this is the form element open and close tag in between this one you'll be in between this open and close form tag you'll be having the form controls and here this form element has two attributes that is action and the method this element formally defines a form it is a container element like a section or a footer element something like so if you try to see this form thing right it's something like a container element container element so just like how we have seen about the section footer header main aside so like this it is uh, form is also something like container element but specifically for containing forms but this container element we use specifically for the forms it also supports some specific attributes to configure the way the form behaves we have seen all of its attributes are optional but it's standard practice to always set at least the action and the method attribute so so many op so many attributes are there for this one all are optional but you must uh, add action and the method the action attribute defines the location where the forms collected data should be sent so now here if you try to see the action attribute so this action attribute is the important thing and it will try to tell uh, it will try to tell so the whatever the user enters the data in the form controls to which page to which url i need to send the collected data so this action attribute will determine the method attribute defines which http method to send the data usually get or post so this is the method attribute so which http method we will call it as http method we'll try about this one difference between the get or post but you need to understand the method attribute also defines in which way i need to send the data whether i need to send it using get or the post method so we'll say we'll see what is the difference between those two afterwards each time you want to create an html form you must start it by using this element nesting all the contents inside so whenever you are trying to de whenever you are trying uh, deciding to create a form means so you need to create open the form tag and close the form tag in between these things only you need to have the form control elements many assistive technologies and browser plugins can discover form element and implement special hooks to make them easier to use so if you have this form element open and close means so many other plugins and javascript plugins and all those things if you are trying to use so they will make sure to add some functionality to that one it is strictly forbidden to nest a form inside another form so never try to do this one so open uh, open and close tag in between the form open and form tag and close tag never use another form inside this one so you should not have nested form just like how we have seen the nested tables it will be allowed in the tables but in the forms we can never should use form inside form nesting can cause forms to behave in an unpredictable manner so it is a bad idea it is always possible to use a form control outside a form element now we have seen that the form is the form element consists of the form controls and some other elements we have seen the form controls need not to be necessary consisting inside the form so they can be the form controls can be present or outside the form also so if you if you do so if you mention the form control outside the form by default that control has nothing to do so it will not it will not do anything with any form unless you associate with a form using its form attribute unless you associate with a form to that form control only then it has something to do or otherwise it will not do anything this was introduced to let you explicitly bind a control with a form even if it is not nested inside it so here if you want you can also bind the form control outside outside if the form control is present outside also so this is all about the basics of the form so if you try to see here <clears throat> let's try to create a web form here i am creating a web form dot html okay web form let's rename it okay so this is the thing and here i am creating html now we have we are trying to design the form right so any time when you are trying to create form you need to use the form and open and closed form okay and this form should have an attributes like action action and method so these are optional only but it's it's try to it's better practice to mention this one if you don't mention the action the form data will be submitted to the same file if you don't mention the method means the default method is the get so inside this form you will be having the form controls so here you will be having the form controls what are the different types of form controls we will see coming on and you will have some other elements also 
So let's try to see those are what are the other elements that are present in the form other than form controls and never try to use the form inside a form so you, you should not use the you are having an outer form and never use the never use this child form like this so form inside form never try to use it so this is this is all about the form basic introduction so in the next video we will see so what is the structure we'll try to define the structure of the form so what are the elements that are present inside the form and all those things we'll try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this basic introduction of this form so forms are one of the important concepts in the html for sending the user data so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you